Hey guys, Officer Earlier here, back again at Bush Gardens, Tampa. I can't believe it, I'm actually here for a third day. <laughs> We're here to ride Iron Gwazi. I think I actually heard it like two minutes ago, cresting over the lift. However, it is starting to rain, so I'm in a little bit of a hurry. I, I don't want to miss out on a ride, just in case the park decides to either close early or shut the rides down for weather. I shut the rides down for weather, but you know, that's only a temporary thing, so I can wait around for the weather to clear out, hopefully. But the forecast definitely says otherwise. I heard as long as there's no lightning or thunder, the rides stay open. Really not many people here. The preferred parking lot wasn't full when I got here. And of course I have a Sesame Place uh, Platinum Pass, which gets me preferred parking at all the SeaWorld parks. And Busch Gardens, of course, is owned by SeaWorld. So let's go ahead and get on this thing. So excited. This is my number one roller coaster right now. Well, that sign's correct. It's still at a five minute wait, which could actually just mean a walk on. Sometimes even if it says five minutes, it's just a walk on. There's really nobody here. This is so great. I can't wait. I'm gonna lap this thing a few times. Give you guys some cool POVs and some different rows. We ride it toward the front a couple times maybe, and then once or twice toward the back. Uh, we also have a couple of roller coasters we need to ride that we haven't yet. Um, there's a wild mouse coaster that we haven't been on, and then there's a kid's coaster we haven't been on yet. So gotta go and ride some more stuff. But yeah, in my opinion, this is the best roller coaster ever built. And today I'm sure it's running even better since the track's all slicked up. And it's still pretty warm out. It's like 75 out. If you sit in the back row, you get whipped down this drop a bit. It's nice. 206 feet tall. Tallest hybrid drop in North America. Oh, I'm so excited. Yesterday, all I could talk about with Izzy was just how freaking great this ride is. Oh man, I'm so excited. We're able to spend more than a couple of days here too. Oh, I can't wait to come back already. Oh wow, <laughs> Jesus. We're gonna do that one more time real quick in the back this time. And then we gotta go get a couple of roller coaster credits. Oh, here we go, first ride of the day in honor of Can I do that one like this? Yes, yes. You'll have a lot of trouble keeping your butt in the seat on this one. Yep. <laughs> Are you guys French or Canadian? Yeah, French. Oh, you're French? <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm American. Nice to meet you. <laughs> My name is Sean. William. William? Nice to meet you. Yeah, man. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize. Oh my god, wow. Oh. Oh, Sorry about the shirt view of you guys. Yes, again, again, again. I could ride this thing all freaking day, but I know it would be a boring video for you guys. So I'm only gonna do it one more time. Then we gotta go and do some other stuff. I kind of also wanna ride Montu again, because that ride's fantastic. And then there's a couple other ones that I wanna try again that we haven't, uh, that we only did one time. Of course, all the other coasters we've only really done one time because of this thing. This thing really, really steals the show. There, there's nothing better in the roller coaster world than this thing, in my opinion. If you were one of the first riders, you might have thought it might have ran a little slow, and I agree, it looks like it did in some of the earlier POVs, but now, you guys can tell, I got the freaking camera to prove it. It's ridiculously fast.
<laughs> wow, we just got off Iron Gwazi in the second to back row, all the way on the left side of the train. The left side of the train provides the best airtime, especially through that wave turn going right over the station. It just it just did it right now. Unfortunately, it wasn't the other side. But oh wow, that ride is just freaking crazy. Holy crap, man. Uh, if anything is gonna bash your thighs harder than any, it, just ridiculous. Just oh wow, it's definitely worth waiting for too. If it's got a long line, the line moves quick. It runs two trains, and it's so so good. Wow, it's like the best roller coaster I've ever been on. This park is freaking huge, and I only have kind of a rough idea still of what the layout's like. I mean, I know we're all the way up toward the front of the park, but Montu and Cobra's Curse are in the back. But where is Sand Serpent? I don't remember. I think it's over here scorpion but I, I don't know how to get there from here we're just gonna kind of walk as it starts to lightly rain out i noticed a couple of drops while we were on the ride just there hopefully it doesn't start pouring <laughs> yeah it, it looks like it might as long as there's no lightning in the area though they should keep the rides open oh i mean maybe maybe in a super torrential downpour maybe Okay, yeah, it looks like I went to the bathroom at the right time. I'm actually still pretty dry. I just got out of the shelter there. Holy crap, man, it was just pouring out. Oh my God, that was insane. You know, some of the rides are still, I think, running. Um, so I'm gonna run over towards Sand Serpent, the Wild Mouse Coaster, and it's apparently pretty far away still. I just talked to the lady over there who's in park services. She's like a janitor. She was like, yeah, uh, it's kind of far between here and there. That's all the way in Pantopia. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, I don't know, you know, where I am. I just kind of walked toward the signs that said Jingala. So we're going into Jingala, past the elephants and the cheetahs and stuff. And I'm already like soaking wet. <laughs> okay, we got the elephants. I keep walking this way, under the bridge. You have to walk under this bridge and it reveals the grand portal into Pantopia. It's beautiful. I have to go by Falcon's Fury, which is closed. Oh, I got a little nervous. I saw that sign. I thought it might be closed all day, but it just says it's an inclement weather thing, so we'll get on Falcon's Fury soon. I really, really, really want to ride that. Supposedly, that's one of the world's best drop towers. I don't know. Izzy doesn't say it's that great, but I, I think it looks really good. I see it. I see the loud mouse. I think it's open. Maybe. I'm not sure. Pull the lap bar down to your waist. Secure all loose articles such as hats and glasses. Now sit back and enjoy your ride on the Sand Serpent. I'm sending a couple of test trains so that way I make sure the brakes actually stop the ride. I've been like a slicked up wild now. It looks like it's running crazy fast. Lucky I got this car. Actually, this one was in the station when it started pouring, so it's not that wet. The other one that just left the station and puddles in the. Hi! <laughs> It's raining out. Oh look, you can touch the track. Oh, that's all wet. Yeah. All right, <laughs> rain ride. <laughs> Probably the worst roller coaster here. Oh god. This is gonna be especially fast. Oh jeez. Hopefully these trim, please trim, please trim. No, oh god. <laughs> oh jeez, please trim, please trim, please trim, please trim. Please trim. Oh, no. Oh god, we are definitely going faster than it's meant to go. Uh, no, freaking Jesus. Oh my god. Ah. Whoa. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, jeez! Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. 
That was insane. Have you been on Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's. Have you been on Iron Quasi yet? That's the question. Oh man. Oh. That was insane. Oh, God. I hope I get on that thing next. I just saw the cash car come down. New credit acquired. Like I mentioned right at the end there, I saw Falcon's Fury's catch car come down from the top of the tower. So let's go and try and get on that because I really want to ride it. I know it might not be the greatest drop tower in the world, but I still want to ride it. Wow, we made it in line for Falcon's Fury. Uh oh, somebody has a phone out on the ride, so they're bringing it down and it's starting to rain. I don't know. Ah. Oh my goodness. Are you nervous? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, a little bit. Oh yeah? <laughs> it's cool, it's one of the, it's it's one of the only... The dropping, it's the hanging face down. Yeah, the hanging face down thing is what this thing's famous for, so um, <laughs> I'm hoping it's really forceful. I like uh, I like stuff that's crazy like that, so I hope it's good. <laughs> oh, that thing is the most insane coaster I, I've ever it, been on. It was more, way more than I was anticipating. Oh my god. Awesome. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. Oh yeah, my god. It's a wooden coaster. It's not going to be that much. I wasn't yeah. expecting to go upside down. Yeah, it's a wooden coaster, but it's got steel rails. Oh. You got to remember that. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. That thing. I'm it, when the when it when it starts to rain and stuff, yeah. um, it makes the track all slicked up, so it runs even faster. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh Jesus. What the? Oh, oh my God. Oh. Here we go. Oh freaking! What the hell is this? Holy crap! Oh. oh. <laughs> Jesus! That was good. That was good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that was a good ride. Wow. Woo! Oh, God. Because, you know, we already have Kraken, which is rollless, so I don't know. Wow. <laughs> oh, that, that was impressive. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, that was definitely one of my favorite drop towers. Probably top three. I really liked I really, really liked it. It was great. It sort of felt like the sensation you get on a sky coaster when they pull you up, you know, it's like the giant people swing. Yeah, uh, we're gonna head over, we're gonna head over to the uh, Sesame Street area and try to find the last coaster I need to ride. Since it's so slow, like there's not that many people here, I should be able to get on it pretty easily. The rain seems to have lightened up just a little bit, so it looks like all the rides are running again, which is great. Of course, they went down before because of the lightning in the area, but it looks like we can get on stuff again. I really want to ride Montu today. I don't know if I mentioned that yet or not, but my ride's fantastic. How can I resist a ride on this? It's only showing a five minute wait right now.
god. so forceful. Oh, I love this ride. Kumba is amazing. Of course, it's only running one train right now. It's totally fine. It's all the way in the back of the park, but despite that, there's actually a lot of people over here. There's a tiger in there just chilling out. These birds are extra pissy today because there's nobody here eating. Got right, Sheikra over here. Oh, wow. That is quite the impressive dive coaster indeed. I had to move out of this area in case those birds tried to nip at my ankles. According to the sign, the kids' area is just down this pathway. It's called Sesame Street Safari of Fun. Okay, Sesame Street Safari of Fun. Not a ton of people over here, and that's what I like to see, especially when I'm alone. And I want a kids' coaster. I don't. I don't like a lot of people around. A little bit embarrassing. Looks like there's a show going on here. For one family. Well, that's good. Como la mía. <laughs> They're making fun of me in Spanish. I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> <Adios>. <laughs> Right. Oh my god, this is a fast tire lift. I'm surprised this is open with the rain. Okay, here we go. Stop, exit to your left. Have a good one, guys. Credit acquired. And the rain is stopping a little bit more. I don't really know what's going on with this weather. It's pretty crazy today. But yeah, that's that's good. I got on that and I'm happy. <laughs> and that, I wouldn't have tried that if I was by myself on a, a busy day, for sure. Especially if I had a line. I stay the hell far away from kids' coasters if they have lines. It's just too embarrassing. Couple people, not that big a deal. So, credit acquired. I have all of the credits here now at Bush Gardens Tampa. Super happy about that. It'd be really funny if I like just found a, ro a roller coaster that I was just like, oh shit, I forgot about that. That happens sometimes. But yeah, all right, let's get out of this kids area. But we gotta head, head to the parking lot because I forgot to bring in a method of payment because I really want some Chick Fil A. It looked like it was open and I smelled it, so I'm gonna head over there and get some food because it's not often you get to go to Chick Fil A without any type of line. <laughs> It's kind of a walk into the park, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and come back in right Iron Gwazi and then shoot back over to there. Luckily, I got preferred parking because of my Platinum Pass. I'm pretty happy about that. Wow, this is a lovely area, isn't it? 
Damn it. I guess I could do without the little like cover and the hose sticking out of that fountain there. <laughs> but I'm sure it looks great during the summer. This is a nice area for the food and wine festival. They got a lot of booths set up over here. Some food. As you can see, it's it's raining again. <laughs> this is a cold type of rain too. I mean, it's only like 75 degrees, so the rain is a bit cold. It's probably in like the 50s of feeling of the rain. It's cold as hell. <laughs> but I really want to ride Iron Gauzy. I also just checked the radar, and it looks like it's gonna clear up in a little while. I don't know exactly how long, but we're gonna chill out because the park closes at eight, and uh, I gotta go get some food. We just walked by Iron Gwazi's gift shop. I wanted to check on some of the prices. I bought Jason a hat yesterday. It was thirty dollars, um, but with the employee discount from Izzy, it was like uh, twenty-three or twenty-four or something like that. And they're charging thirty dollars for hats, so I'm not getting one of those. And they only have like one or two good shirt designs, and all the shirt designs only have a, a three XL. It's too bad. Like I'd gladly, you know, spend thirty bucks on a really nice shirt, but I got sticker shock quite a few times in that shop. I saw a mug. It's a really nice Tarvis mug, like beautiful stainless steel around the rim and it said Iron Gwazi. It's great quality, but it's like $40. And they have construction hats for sale and obviously those are pretty limited edition since it only was under construction once. So once those are sold out, I don't think they're gonna be getting more. And those were $69.99 just for a construction hat that says Iron Gwazi on it. Absolutely insane price gouging. Hopefully Chick-fil-A isn't overpriced. All right, well, if you turn left over near Iron Gwazi, and you keep going, and you keep going, and you pass Chikra, and you keep going past Stanley Falls, and you walk for like 25 minutes, and you'll eventually find a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> oh my god, this park's ridiculous. But, oh my god, yeah, I'm really hungry for this. I haven't had Chick-fil-A in, oh, probably a couple of years, just because it's always slam-packed with people. Let's go. Oh. Oh wow, yeah, it was coming down really hard. It still kind of is. Wow. <laughs> I stepped inside the Emporium here to see what type of gifts they have. If there's anything reasonable that I want to buy. Oh, that's a cool shirt. Looking specifically for coaster shirts. <laughs> a couple of things about that Chick-fil-A that uh, is a little different than at other places. You can't actually get meals. They don't have any meals there. You have to buy everything, uh, as they say, a la carte which means you have to buy everything into, like separately. So you have to buy your fries, you have to buy your sandwich. They don't have cheese or the Chick-fil-A sauce on the sandwich. It's a little weird. It, uh, uh, it's not like a regular Chick-fil-A, but it ends up being more expensive because you can't buy combo meals. But anyway, enough of that. It was delicious. Hit the spot perfectly. I ended up spending like $17 or something on it. A little bit expensive, not terrible. Oh no, I was gonna come over here and sneak a ride on Gwazi, but it looks like it's down. The wait time is showing a bunch of zeros unless that just means it doesn't have any weight. I know at some parts when my wait time says that it means it's down. Oh yeah, yeah, it's open. Let's go. Oh, uh, they have it closed right now for weather. That sucks. If it ends up being closed for any extended period of time, I totally understand. The weather looks awful in this area. If you wish to remain in line, you may do so. However, if you wish to exit, please see an iron ambassador to assist you. Okay. Oh wow. They just let us out the handicap exit. This is crazy. I wish you could go in here on normal. What the hell? This is probably the best view of the whole ride. This is like a backstage tour. It's too bad it's not operating. That'd be amazing. Imagine seeing a train flying through all these elements from this angle. It'd be sick.
such an impressive ride. It's too bad I'm uh, just about out of time. I have to go pick Izzy up at SeaWorld in Orlando, and that's about an hour and a half away, and it's about uh, about time for me to leave, unfortunately. But it'll be a, it'll be a hell of a time to come back here. I, I will definitely be making plans to come back here really soon. I love this ride. This is my number one coaster for now. Uh, I don't know anything that could possibly even come close to beating it. Not even Steel Vengeance, Cedar Point, not even El Toro, or Lightning Rod, or Fury. Of course, there's tons of coasters all over the world that I haven't been on. But yeah, this is definitely my number one. Oh, I just spotted Gauzy testing. We're going back. We didn't get that far away yet. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, he, he stapled me for some reason. I saw that. Like, I've yeah, never yeah, been yeah. stapled on this ride. That's like the first time anybody's ever tried stapling me on this. They're always like really good about it. Oh boy, here we go. It's almost a rain ride. Oh yeah, this is steep as hell. Yeah, one more ride before I go. Goodness. coming into the brakes. It's ridiculous. Right. And it runs even faster after it rains. <laughs> what a ride. Somebody lost their uh, Yankees hat. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, back road time. Yeah, yeah, I recommend that. That was crazy. That drop was the best drop I've ever done. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really good. It's fantastic. This is my number one. I love it so much. Yeah, Montu. Montu's really good. Montu at number one. Really <laughs> <laughs> Monto, Monto I good. Yeah, I came out of the bathroom before and I just heard some chain lifts going and I turned around and Iron Guazi was going up the lift. Wow, I can't believe that. Nice, almost rain ride. It wasn't even really a rain ride. It's only lightly raining. But I, that was so much, so much fun. Front row and back row. And it was really not a bad row on that on that ride. But front's great for the view. Crazy air time. Like, you just get that crazy air time no matter where you sit. Amazing ride. 10 out of 10. Definitely worth it to drive over here if you're in Orlando too. It's only about an hour and a half away. Of course the rain stops right as we're leaving, right? But we have to go pick Izzy up from SeaWorld where he works. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We had an excellent day. We got on all the rides we wanted to get on. Got on Iron Gwazi a few times. We got on the coasters that we didn't get on yesterday and the day before. And we got all the roller coaster credits now. So we got a park completion here. Really happy about uh, what we got done. This park is awesome. I love it so much. It's so big. It's really ridiculously big. There goes Cheetah Hunt in the background. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Oh.